Hello everybody, the Scion Air here. Nice to see you guys again. So you remember January when we were making those Hunger Games simulator videos? Basically the Hunger Games simulator is like the Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, did I pronounce that right? Where people just fight to the death, except now you can pick your own tributes, players, if you would call them that. Well, back then I made a video called Battle of the Memes. It never got finished. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you why that is so. And that is, well, the game did not get saved and I lost everything. Even though I saved it, I still lost everything. I'm not even kidding. And so we have to start again. Now I have all the same tributes as before, but some of them may have different images. Now, here is the thing. Please, please, please do not proceed if you do not like brutal stuff because the Hunger Games is quite a brutal thing. Due to, due to, its, due to its brutal nature, na what's wrong with me? Due to its brutal nature, um, this simulator does simulate some quite brutal things. So please, please have caution. Unless you're like over 13, I do suggest asking your parents. But regardless of that, let's get that out of the way. And let's keep going. So as you can see, these all these tributes, I'm not going to bother introducing them because you'll probably get them introduced in the first episode. Well, not the first episode, but the but with the original version. So you better check that out and then you'll find out who those are. Anyway, I just want a disclaimer. You can suggest who you want to be in these games next. Well, I mean, you can suggest what the theme of the games is and all that. Yes, you can. Because I had video game characters and then memes. And now I'm doing memes again. So yes, it's been a long time since I did one of these videos, so that's good. Also good is that when I was doing those videos in January, I had to make it sort of like a slideshow with my voice onto it. But now I have XSplit Broadcaster. Well, I mean, I had that, but I didn't know how, but I couldn't really use it that much. But I'm now I, I use XSplit Broadcaster. That's why you notice the watermark. I had to do everything to record in high resolution. The, well, now I have XSplit. I'm going to be able to record not as a slideshow, but an actual moving video. So that should be pretty nice. Anyway, I suppose we should start the games. Since this has been going on long, long enough. Now, I just click the proceed button. And um, may the odds be ever in your favor. As Effie Trinket would say from the books or the movies. So, proceed. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Expanding brain sets Grumpy Count on fire with a Molotov. That may or may not be a deaf. I think it is a deaf. That boy snatches a pair of size. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that grumpy cat was a deaf. Uh, younger pig runs away from the cornucopia. Somebody touching my spaghetti runs into the cornucopia and hides. Yeah, some of these things are dead now because remember, these were back from January. I just, I never actually added in anything new. Okay. Um, there's a couple other things. I'm just going to scroll down. Um, long cat, you've gone to knuckles. Yeah, totally dead. Keyboard cat and Roblox death sound share everything they gathered before running. Roll safe runs away from the cornucopia. Older pig runs away from the cornucopia. And uh, nyan cat, neon cat, I always get that wrong. It's neon cat, obviously, not nyan cat, runs away from the cornucopia. And yes, Tide Pod does the exact same thing. I'm just going to keep grouping this. I'm not going to say every single person runs away from the cornucopia because that wastes time. Um, yeah. Yes, also, it turns out that Doge also runs away from the cornucopia. <clears throat> Clorox Bleach stays at the cornucopia for resources. Um, Barry B. Benson also runs away. So does Thomas the Dank Engine and Gabe the Dog and Meme Man. Um, Orin grabs a shield leaning on the cornucopia. Never saw that event before. Big Ben's final chime grabs a backpack, not realizing it is empty. Well, at least, I mean, at least you can whack someone with that. Well, I mean, if you have arms, since you're the Westminster Tower, um, Harambe grabs a, sho a shovel. Wait, is he actually the Westminster Tower? I don't really, that's not really important. 
and also Shrek runs away from the cornucopia. So it's time to proceed to day one. Okay, so it seems that Rule Safe discovers a river, a, a river, a river. Doge, Roblox, Death Sound, and Younger Pig get into a fight. Younger Pig triumphantly kills them both. Oh boy. Yes, use the power of oats. Shrek tries to sleep for the entire day. That boy sets an explosive off, killing Mean Man and Uganda Knuckles. Ha ha, okay. Mean Man always dies early in these games. I don't know why. Good thing he's not fur dimensional. Or maybe he died in Canada, so he won't die in real life. Haha, <laughs> stereotypes. That boy... Oh, yeah, I already read that. Um, Big Ben's final chime over here is Keyboard Cat and Older Pig talking in the distance. Nyan, neon Cat and Primitive Sponge work together for the day. Neon Cat, not Nyan or Neon. Somebody touching my spaghetti is pricked by forms while picking berries. I, I don't get how that's... Um, I think that's sort of a filler event, but okay. Long Cat scares, scares Clorox bleach off. I know, just, just look at that scary face there. Just look at that face. He would scare anyone off. Anyway, um, Gabe the Dog strangles Orang after engaging in a fist fight. Yes, yes, Gabe the Dog. You strangled the untrustworthy Orang. Yes, good job. You've saved the universe. Harambe sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Uh, Thomas the Dank Engine tries to spearfish with a trident. I don't see how he could do that. He has no arms. He's literally the locomotive. Barry B. Benson practices his archery. Tide Pod and Expanding Brain work together for the day. What an odd combination. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a lot more deaths than I, than I remember. Um, Grumpy Cat in District 3. Doge in District 4, Roblox Death Sound in District 10. I forgot to read this part. Yes. Full and Tributes 1, 6 can shots coming from the distance. Uganda Knuckles, District 12. Oh, he died? I don't remember that. Let me let, let, let me go back. Um, oh, yeah. Killing Me Men in Uganda Knuckles. Uh, yeah. And Orang. And good. I, I, I hope you all rest in peace, except, except for Orang, because you tried to unleash a vegetable and kill us all. And nobody want and nobody trusts you anymore. Gabe the dog and Barry B. Benson hold hands. Primitive Sponge passes out from exhaustion. And by the way, I, I, I know that does not actually mean he died. He just passed out. That boy tends to roll safe's wounds. That that's a weird type of nurse. Um, doctor, I guess maybe I, I don't know. Keyboard cat tends to Tide Pod's wounds. Well, that's even weirder. Like, are they for wounds from, like, biting or something? Because people bite into them all the time. They did before. Expanding brain attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Neon cat thinks about home. Like, I did it, I did it. Somebody touch on my spaghetti quietly hums. <clears throat> Long cat and younger pig hold hands. <clears throat> Older pig stabs Shrek with a tree branch. Oh boy. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's not that's not really nice. Um, I would be sad, but I, but but older pig. I like older pig more than Shrek. So, I mean, rest in peace, Shrek. Though, of course, Harambe stabs th stabs Thomas the Dank Engine in the back of a trident. <clears throat> if both Harambe and Gabe the dog die, I'm going to be like so sad. <clears throat> Clorox Bleach sets up camp for tonight. <clears throat> Big Ben's final chime loses sight of where he is. Uh -huh. Long Cat runs away from Harambe. Gabe the dog discovers a river. Big Ben's final chime receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Tide Plod explores. Tide Plod. Tide Pod explores the arena. Primitive Sponge severely injures Clorox Bleach and leaves him to die. Um. So he drank him? Then wouldn't Primitive Sponge die? I'm overthinking this. Roll safe and expanding brains split up to search for resources. Younger Pig injures himself. Probably injured himself by refusing to give his brother oats. That boy picks flowers. Keyboard Cat hunts for other tributes. Older Pig stalks Neon Cat. I did it right again. Somebody touching my spaghetti camouflages himself in the bushes. <clears throat> Barry B. Benson discovers a cave. 
Ah, yes. Free cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Shrek from District 11. Thomas Dankenger from District 11. Quark's B from District 6. Oh, my. All of District 11 is dead, then. Huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, rest in peace, all of you. Big Ben's final chime is awoken by nightmares. Long Cat feed... Long Cat Fence gave the dog somebody touch my spaghetti and keyboard cat away from his fire. Three of them. He fended off three of them. Well, that, that's impressive. Barry B. Benson screams for help. Harambe, Dat Boy. Is he asking for the like, chest help? Harambe, Dat Boy, and Princess Sponge sleep in shifts. Older Pig and Younger Pig fight Tide Pod and Expanding Brain, but Tide Pod and Expanding Brain survive? No. Older pig and younger pig are dead. They're like my favorite memes. Um, well, one of my favorites, at least. I love expanding brain meme, and I am okay with Tide Pod. But why Why would choose them over older pig and younger pig? Alas, I do not have any control over Brent Steel. It is a random generator. I. They can probably just be regenerated. Nyan, Neon Cat questions his sanity. Yeah, um, I'm questioning my sanity while pronouncing your name. Roll safe dies trying to escape the arena. But you can't die if it's just a simulation. Tap, 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 tap. Now we're on to day three. Somebody touching my spaghetti and Neon Cat work together for the day. That boy diverts gave the dog they g- g- gave the dog's attention and runs away. Well, expanding brain defeats keyboard cat in a fight, but spares his life. Harambe tries to sleep for the entire day. Primo Sponge searches for a water source. Tide Pod begs for Barry B. Benson to kill him. He refuses keeping Tide Pod alive. Big Ben's foul chime receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Long Cat sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate, which is probably smart. Free cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Older Pig and Younger Pig from District 1 and Rolse from District 7. Boy, oh boy, am I sad for Older Pig and Younger Pig. And you too, but not as much you, Roll Safe. Because Older Pig and Younger Pig are like my favorite memes. One of my favorites. Oh yeah, I, f- I keep forgetting, I- I'm forgetting to check the status. And it might be- it might be about time to check that. So, almost all of the first row has died. Long Cat is the only one remaining alive. Now, two of second row are dead. District 1 and District 2 are both completely wiped out. District 3 is half alive. District 4, Doge is dead, but half alive still. District 5 is completely alive. District 6, half dead. District 7 is half dead. District 8 is alive. District 9 is alive. District 10 is okay half alive district 11 is completely dead district 12 is well well one of them is dead so yeah that's a lot there are one two three four five six seven eight nine oh no i i miscounted there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve tributes remaining so half are already gone Long Cat cries himself to sleep. Somebody touch my spaghetti and Neon Cat talk about the tribute still alive. Harambe receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Gabe the dog, keyboard cat, and Barry B. Benson cheerfully sing songs together. Well, I mean, it seems okay so far, but I'm not going to jinx myself. Um, Primitive Sponge stays awake all night. Dat Boy quietly hums. Big Ben smiles trying, tries to sing himself to sleep. You know, the usual. Expanding brain severely injures Tide Pod, but puts him out of his misery. Oh, well, I mean, I like expanding brain more than I like Tide Pods, so, okay.